Hey guys and welcome to this video on how to solve this puzzle in the Cathedral of Omens in Remnant 2. This is located in the Faithless Thicket area in Yesha and it has its own fast travel checkpoint so you can travel there if you unlock the checkpoint. So as you enter the long hallway and enter the main room you'll notice a large contraption with objects dangling from the ceiling. There are also three levers in the room and it's important to know what each one does. So familiarize yourself with what each lever does. The one as you walk in from the hallway rotates the middle platform with the triangular shape. The lever to your left next to the open room operates the bottom platform with the two adjacent rings and the lever on your right next to the closed door operates the top platform with all the symbols. The solution to this puzzle can be found in a book located in the library room to your right up the stairs as you enter the main room from the long hallway. Firstly, you'll notice the symbols and what they each represent. The sun, the moon, life, death, the doe and the ravager. Take note of these symbols as we'll need them. Another clue to this is actually found in a torn page from that book, which is found next to the lever on the left as you enter this big room. As you inspect that note, it shows you a symbol with the triangle pointing down with a small circle at the top. What this represents is the corresponding symbol found above the door and these symbols are above each door and they correspond to a chapter in the book. So in this case refers to the chapter the beginning. If you read the text and it says for sun and moon describe the skies the firmament beyond their whims will tell if tides are high or if the day has dawned and fragile life must hang below a puppet on a thread and only choosing makes it so to live in joy or dread. The words sun, moon, life are in bold and below is in italics and bold. So that kind of gives you the clue to this puzzle. So this gives us a clue on how to open the subsequent doors with the symbols of the calamity and the blood moon. And once you do one, the second one becomes obvious, but we'll start with the calamity. So to open this door, we have to read the text which mentions something about the ravager, the doe and death. The solution is found in the last sentence which says for though they may struggle always their struggle serves the balance and keeps unharnessed death from above from descending upon us all. So the first thing we have to do here is align the middle platform with the triangle to match the symbol on the ground to that of the door of calamity. Just remember that the middle platform is operated by the lever as you enter this room from the long hallway and then using the lever that operates the top platform point the symbol of the ravager towards the door of calamity. The final thing to do here is to align the bottom platform with the two rings to be above the death and doe symbol like this and the door will open as you'll hear the audio cue. Your final configuration should look like this. For the second door, door which refers to the blood moon, the process is just the same. Align the middle platform to match the symbol of the blood moon above the door and then align the moon with the door and then align the bottom platform with the two rings above the moon and the ravager and this will open that door and your configuration should look something like this. Finally, for the third puzzle, the hope, and this is slightly more complicated as it requires four symbols to be inside the rings. You have to align the middle platform to match the symbol above the hallway you entered from. After that, rotate the symbols so that the ravager and the doe are inside the circle of the triangle platform, with the ravager closest to the lever that operates the lowest platform with the two adjacent rings. And the life and sun symbols are underneath the triangle. Then move the lowest platform with the two rings close to each other above the life and sun and that will complete the puzzle and reveal the Sagittarius longbow weapon. And that's it, all three puzzles completed. So thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you next time.